Most individuals never make it around the world in a lifetime. It is even more rare to have done so by age 21. However, for Veronica Mulligan, a senior at Virginia Tech, the world is her home. With parents who are American diplomats, Veronica has grown up moving countries every three to four years. She attended preschool in France, middle school in South Africa, and high school in Egypt. I hate like leaving them or them leaving me. You know, every three to four years, the good part is that you can visit them wherever you want. So far, I've been able to like get away with some of the traveling that I do because I have somewhere to stay. In fact, Veronica has visited all seven continents in just the past year, including study abroad experiences. And then in the winter of 2008, I was able to go on an expedition research trip to Antarctica for two weeks. My favorite moment on that on that trip was when we landed on an island called Paulette Island, and it had 300,000 breeding pairs of a deli penguin, and it was just amazing. I left again to go to France with Virginia Tech and ISAC. So I spent six months in Chambéry, France. I can't even remember how many places I went to, um, but it's so easy to travel around Europe. So I was able to go to Italy and Ireland. That was my favorite. <laughs> in Ireland. I even got to fly to Morocco for one of the vacations. So I got I got my traveling show that trip. Well the story of the flag is um my friends at school before I left for Antarctica, they were kind of jealous that I was going and that I couldn't bring them with me. So I had them sign a Virginia Tech flag that I had gotten so that I could, they could sign it and then I would claim territory in Antarctica for them. Um, <laughs> and then um, once I got to Antarctica, I had all of the people who were on that trip with me sign it and then I ended up bringing it to France and it just kind of caught on so I would take it everywhere I went, claim a little piece of territory for Virginia Tech and my friends and then have everyone that I encountered sign it. So it's now been to 13 countries and seven continents. Veronica also spends her summers traveling among family members and reuniting with friends from around the world. Last summer I spent um, a little over a month in Australia. I spent a couple days in Sydney, but the most of the time I spent in Melbourne working at my aunt and uncle's medical clinic. In Sydney I was staying with um like old family friends from Marseille. He's actually the one who like helped teach me French and he said I can come stay with him. So I was like, okay. So I was just like left in Sydney by myself, just like walking around. And they gave me a free pass to go to the zoo. So I went to the zoo. Last summer was that I was visiting my, my Jamaican friend in China. And she has actually been in China. She's been there for about eight months. Um, studying Chinese, and when I went to visit her, you know, she had explained to me all just how badly she stood out in China because they're not used to Jamaican people just walking around, and with me resembling a Chinese person, <laughs> it was always funny to, for her to see how they would treat me differently, and they would always go to me first before her because they thought I spoke Chinese, but in fact, Although Veronica has had many incredible experiences, her journey isn't over. There's so many other places I want to go. Like the North Pole, <laughs> like Alaska. I really want to go to Japan and other, like, you know, in Southeast Asia. I'd like to spend more time in the Philippines there. I'd like to learn more about the country I actually come from. The biggest thing that I've learned from living and studying abroad is just how to like be able to adapt. Um, I think that after all the experiences I've had, I'm able to go into almost any situation and come out in a pretty good shape. Um, <laughs> I've had some bad, some bad encounters, um, but I've learned from them. 
with an adolescent life lived in many different cultures. Veronica has realized that it's not necessarily where you are going, but instead what you learn on the way.